This is probably going to be one of my lesser viewed videos on this channel, but a topic that I have wanted to cover for so freaking long. And yeah, all you lads and ladies out there, welcome back to the channel. You are now witnessing history of what might be one of the longest, if not the single longest ranked matches we have ever seen in any video game or any esport. If there's another story out there to like this one, please share it with me in the comment section down below or in Twitter DMs because we are talking about Ruben Stock and Andre Tuai, two Age of Empire streamers on Twitch who went back and forth this past couple of days Yes, I just said that. They went back and forth in a ranked Age of Empires match for a couple of days. In-game time was actually sped up by 1.7x, so I will be breaking it down for all of you because they surpassed 90 hours in-game. And yes, I can confirm to all of you, nearly 58 hours of real time was actually spent, well, mostly AFKing, but against each other just to get... 12 points in the ranked system of Age of Empires, which a lot of you probably, myself included, did not know about. These two went back and forth in one of the longest games that I have ever freaking seen. I mean, just to give you a kind of a, a general inkling of what was going on, I played Age of Empires as a kid, and you know how when you attack a building and things start to get on fire, but they don't necessarily, you know, die once they're on fire, they kind of just stay on fire. This game was going on for so long, after 40 hours of in-game time, some of the buildings that were on fire just stopped being on fire. Well... Like the Mortal Hulk's questions, we don't, we don't have a counter or a, or like a command for a, for a repetitive questions, so I answer pretty much every time it's been asked. What? What's up with the tower, guys? I think the fire is... The fire is finally... Uh, dying. Look. The fire is stopping. Jesus Christ. And then, I believe after 60 hours of in-game time, these guys were literally, as I was watching back and forth between Andre and Ruben, after around 40 to 60 hours of in-game time, they both started AFKing and sleeping in real life. I believe Ruben slept around 8 plus hours at the very least. I think Andre admitted to sleeping for around 12 hours throughout the entire experience. And it became down to a point where it was actually Ruben having the only win condition. It got to a point where there were no other resources. Nothing else could be made. The entire map was scrapped for what it was worth. And beyond that, only Ruben could actually win. But if you guys don't know the game of Age of Empires, it is easier to defend than it is to attack. So Andre had no win condition. He actually could not win. He was trying to force the draw out of Ruben. Ruben, being the crazy man he is, he says, no, I'm not going to accept your draw. I'm going to draw this game out to extensive lengths because Ruben himself could only attack if Andre was asleep. He could only actually dodge everything in Age of Empires, you know, a little strafing action, if Andre was actually passed out at the point of him attacking. At one point or another, it was Ruben attacking, trying to close the game, and Andre woke up during it, so he had to call off the attack. This stuff. Oh, we're gonna hit by the tower. No, we're gonna breathe again. Oh, bad. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. What do I do now? I just trust that he's AFK, right? What is he here? No, we have to go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. And even better, we even had interviewers coming in during this. I think this is probably around the 30 plus hour mark. I want to say like 35 hours in or so. Ruben's actually awake at this point and taking interviews live on stream, talking about how he's going to win. He has the win condition, as we found out throughout this, and even giving the prediction that he thought this game would go to 200 hours of in game time, which is just nuts. I was like, no, he doesn't. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs>
Yeah, I, for the longest time I thought he was suffering wheel of fight with all the villagers, but this was actually just one, one versus one villager. Mm -hmm. But then so it would be 50-50. Uh, you didn't accept that because you have a win condition and he doesn't? Was yeah. it because of honor or, or why? Because of the winning condition mm -hmm. uh, thingy. Because he can't win the game and I can still um, still win the game mm -hmm. by dragging so, it very long. Yeah, so let me let me ask then, do you think you will win this game? But let me finish before something extraordinary happens i mean a, a patch i mean a definitive edition going down i mean uh, something like a, a hotfix push do you think you can win this game before everything drops yes absolutely i think How at some point he will finally realize that he has no winning condition and that mm -hmm. will crush him completely <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if he didn't notice that in 61 hours, why would he uh, notice that from now on? Well, so, some people take <laughs> long to <laughs> realize this. <laughs> everyone everyone takes his own time, right? <laughs> yes, everyone takes their own. There are people more, more uh, uh, faster than other people and people slower than other people. Is, is that yes, what you're saying? Yes, exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Huge man. Okay, uh, so you have a win condition. He doesn't. There's been a game for 61 hours. I want you to make an estimate on how long you think this is going to go. This madness. This insanity. Please tell me. Um. So let me think. For how long has he been awake? If he has been awake for the whole time, he has been, I think, like 40 hours awake. I think one week, one week is maximum you can do without sleeping. Mm -hmm. So, in one week of game time, I mean real life time, I should be able to win the game. That's my okay. estimation. Okay, tell, tell me the number again. I want to, to uh, note this down because I want to t uh, give you a call when this finishes and say, Ruben, you were right. You told me the exact <laughs> Oh, please. I want uh, not only the hours, I want minutes and seconds, please. I uh, don't... No, I can't do th that math, sorry. Oh my god, please, Ruben, Are you, What? Please. You're killing me here, man. <laughs> uh, you, you would have to do it yourself, the calculations. Don't, okay. don't ask okay. me to do math on oh, after <laughs> this. After 60 hours of gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> and to give you guys more information too, at one point or another, Ruben refusing to give Andre the draw. Keep that in mind, all right? Andre had offered a draw, a stalemate, which Ruben rejected because he said, hey, you know what? I have the only win condition. I'm going to wait for you to time out or go to sleep, and then I'm going to beat you. At one point, the interviewer, I think, even asked, would you take 2,000 euros to actually end the game right now? And Ruben said, no. I'm here to freaking win the game. That's how dedicated he was. Unfortunately, his internet was not so dedicated. This is where this story takes a crazy turn after going viral on Twitter. Even Vice was talking about this legendary lengthy game of ranked Age of Empire. Unfortunately so, it was Ruben Stock, the man with the only win condition for this game and denying to actually draw the game with Andre, who lost in the only way he actually possibly could have lost, his internet disconnected. And so after 90 plus hours of in-game time, 58 hours of real life time, over two days they had spent in a ranked match of Age of Empires, no money even on the line is how crazy we are talking about. Ruben Stock unfortunately lost the game to Andre 2i because of an internet disconnect. And I can't imagine how that has to feel 
but it's just so crazy that we're getting to talk about one of the most legendary games of all time in Age of Empires, let alone in all video games. And the fact that I get to break it down for a story is just madness. So a huge shouts to Ruben Stock. I appreciate your dedication. It's not your fault in the first place, but also vice versa goes right to Andre because Andre had no win condition. He said, you know what? I'm going to wake up intermittently. If I hear the alarm bells, if I hear the attack bells, I'm going to just keep waking up and defend, defend, defend until he gives in or he accepts a draw or his internet cuts out. Both of these guys should certainly go down in Age of, Age of Empires history, video games history. It's just maddening to know that's how it all came down to an end. One of the longest ranked matches I think I, I, that I've ever covered. If there's any other stories out there like this, hit me up in the DMs. A huge congrats to both these guys for making a legacy that uh, I will not forget for a long, long time. Till next time, did y'all enjoy? Drink some water, drink some coffee. I'll catch you back here sometime soon. Take care.